It's runtime, and today is Saturday, September 20th. So here's everything that happened in Indian tech over the last 24 hours. First of all, ISC Bangalore incubated startup Space Fields has raised a 42 crore rupee pre-series A round that's about $4.7 million led by Globus Technologies with participation from Rockstud Capital and Venture Catalysts. And these guys are working on rocket propulsion and solid propellants for India's space and defense sector. Now, currently, Space Fields is a team of 20 people, and they've filed 10 patents, five of which have been granted. But you know what stands out to me the most about this startup? Uh, this is going to sound a little bit weird, but they seem like a team that knows how to have fun. They're just really doing their own thing when it comes to the branding and public presentation of their business. They're not trying to be buttoned up and overly professional. They're embracing their scrappiness and quirkiness. And honestly, I'm here for it. I love it. I think Space Tech needs more teams teams like this. All right, next up, Swayad Robots has released another demo video showing their autonomous driving technology at work. And this time it's at much higher speeds than before. And it's on a single lane two way road, which is a pretty challenging environment even for a human driver, let alone an AI driver. Now, during this demo, the driverless car encountered a number of challenging situations like, for example, a herd of cows. And this is a pretty normal scenario for a driver in India to encounter, especially on a country road, but uh, Swayad Robots handled the situation very gracefully. Another challenging obstacle was a tight turn. Again, a single lane, uh, two-way traffic here, and so there's this oncoming Toyota, and so the Swayad Robots car does what it has to do, right? It drives onto the shoulder and gives some space for this oncoming vehicle. And then uh, soon after that, there's a tractor parked on the side of the road, and so the driverless car moves back onto the road and proceeds safely around the tractor. In another scenario, you can see the autonomous vehicle is in the middle of the road. And then on the uh, side, there is this dark color SUV and it drives at high speed through this mud and then cuts aggressively in front of the autonomous vehicle. And so the autonomous vehicle stops suddenly to avoid an accident. But I think the, the scenario that really took the cake for me, uh, because it's just so relatable as someone who drives in India myself, uh, from the side of the road, out of nowhere, there's this bicycle that comes and it comes very close to the autonomous car. Any human driver who was distracted on their phone or uh, something would definitely hit this guy on the bicycle, but the Swire Robots vehicle was able to stop abruptly to avoid an accident. And by the way, the person on the bicycle is actually the founder of the company, Sanjeev Sharma. Uh, so you can definitely see that he has skin in the game. All right, next up, Google has announced the 20 AI startups that have joined their latest cohort of the Google for Startup Accelerator AI First program. 45% of these startups are focused on agentic AI, 30% on multimodal AI, and the remaining 25% are focused on foundational models and responsible AI. Now, I'm not gonna go through the entire list of these 20 companies, 20 is a lot, but I did research all of them, and I wanna highlight the ones that I personally found interesting. So first up, we have AI Steth. They built an AI-powered smart stethoscope for early detection of cardiorespiratory disorders, and they're also developing a biotech foundational model. Then after that, we have Tile. It's basically lovable, but specifically for mobile apps. And Tile's agents are actually really good at handling boring stuff like auth, payments, and CMS. Then we've got Resilience AI. They're a B2B and B2G natural disaster risk assessment platform that uses satellite imagery and AI to help businesses and governments prepare for disasters in advance. And then finally, we have Sparky. This is kind of fun, just an app that uses a voice agent to teach users how to speak English with confidence and fluency. All right, next up, a Pune-based electric truck manufacturer, Blue Energy Motors, has raised $30 million, that's 264 crore rupees, in a funding round led by Nikhil Kamat and a textiles company, Omnitex Industries. And this brings the total amount of funding that they've raised to $50 million. Now, BEM started off with India's first LNG heavy-duty truck, but they're working now on an EV truck too, and we don't really know what the truck is gonna look like or the specs, uh, but here's an image that they show on their website. All right, that is all of the Indian tech news that I have for you all today and for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.